uh, outstanding career that you've had. How, where do you place this fight? Because you're at like a, uh, this is a very important fight for you. Definitely. You know, every fight's important. I mean, this is this is the most important fight by far. Um, is, you know, I get, I get I'm getting the opportunity to fight the number one guy in the in the world. Uh, couldn't be better. I mean, for me, it's it's a it's a definitely a pivotal fight. Um, but at the same time, you know, that's the, the, the guys that I want to I want to fight the best. I want to face the best, and that's, that's going to get me to that goal of being world champ. He's been on a roll, Lawler. I mean, he's like turned the corner or something because he's looked better now than he than he ever has. And I agree. I think you know that that's been a little bit over over overblown. You know, you know, you beat a guy like Bobby Volker. You know, a few guys that are not top ten guys. Sure. I mean, he had an impressive win over Koscheck. Also, really hasn't been relevant in a long time, but. Um, you know, I'm excited to fight him. Everybody's dangerous. You know what I mean? Just, I'm like I've always said. I know I can beat anybody in the world. No question. I can. I have more ways to win this fight than he does. Coming off of that Rory McDonald fight, it's been about 10 months since you last fought. How do you feel? How's your conditioning? How do you, how do your injuries feel? If you completely, uh... I feel great. I feel great. Um, no, you know, no injuries. Everything's uh, everything was. It's been great, healed up. It's been it's been nice to kind of, you know, get a little bit of a, a break and, and uh, not only physically but mentally, and then and get right back into into training. But I've, you know, I've really grown a lot in the last year, so I've been focused on on specific things, and and, and really we've been training a, the, the strategy for this fight for a while now. I heard you, you went to train actually at the Glendale Fight Club a little bit for this fight. Was that a majority of where your camp was based? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I've been working with Edmund Tavertian for, for about four months now, four or five months, so he's, uh, he, he's been huge. He's been a great help for, for strategy, um, sharpening sp- skills specifically. Um, he's, he's, just, he's, just a, he's a brilliant guy, you know, overall, and, and, and one of the smartest guys in combat sports, I would say. But, uh, you know, it, it just adding more, uh, you know, more things to, more things to, to my strategy and, and really, uh, and, and, and overall, my overall game has grown for sure. Was there any specific thing that you really focused in on after uh, the McDonald fight? Uh, yeah, there's there's definitely things uh, myself that I've had to I had to focus on outside of the octagon. You know, there's some things that I had to you know kind of clean up. And, and I would say distractions are huge. You know, some distractions that I had to kind of uh, remove um, from from my life. But I think overall, uh, you know. It, it was an off night, absolutely. You know, um, there, there's some adjustments that I've had to make, definitely. But um, in my mind, it's it's almost harder to fight a guy who's 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 um, does not trying to fight, if that really makes sense. I mean, Robbie's a guy who moves forward and he's willing to engage. So it's it's you know what to expect when you fight a guy like Robbie. Jake, I'm curious, um, just your perspective as a veteran fighter. Hennenborough's win streak, 32 wins, eight years. Yeah. How big of an accomplishment is that? How difficult is that in this sport? That's unreal. It's, yeah. that's really unheard of. I mean, I, <laughs> he's going to be the only guy that you can that you've heard with that kind of record and that kind of win streak. I mean, I, you know, to, to have a handful of wins is hard. You know, five, six wins sure. in a row is hard sure. to do. And the guy, and that really kind of just shows his, his his dedication and his routine to, to training. I mean, he. I've been down to Novignon and in Rio, and in, I've seen the way they, little guys train, and in, they, they really live the, the lifestyle inside and outside of the gym. What is the atmosphere like down there at that gym? It, it, it almost seems to us in America, it almost seems like there's like an air of mystery to it, you know. There is a little bit, you know. They, it, but it really, it comes down to they, they work really hard. There's really no secret. I mean, they every day of the week they work really hard, and, and that's you know this is not really a surprise to me. Jose Aldo and Henny Barra, like the two of the best fighters in the sport. Period. And they really, uh, if you kind of watched them train for a week, you'd really would would uh, you could see why. But, yeah. Neither you or Lawler, going back to your fight, are the type of guys to get finished. You both are very resilient. So, how have you planned out your attack coming into this? Yeah, that's a that's a good point. I think. Um, you know, if with a guy like Robbie, you you have to expect him to be in the fight for the whole time. Um, for me specifically, I have to be disciplined in the later rounds. I got to be disciplined for 15 minutes. Um, stick to my stick to my strategy, and, and, and really kind of dictate where this fight goes. You know, control the rhythm. I mean, there's you know we're, we're similar in in a lot of ways, but uh, he's always dangerous. So you know, we got to be disciplined. Taking it back to UFC 158, you were supposed to fight Johnny Hendricks then, and then he got shuffled into the fight with Condit. Do you think that a win here? Whoa, whoa, whoa shuffled? Yeah. No, he asked him and his camp asked for the fight with Condit, and then uh, and then and then of course agreed. Um, 
So, yeah, that was a little frustrating, you know. But um, it's you know we're still on the same road. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, you know, I gotta get my hand raised on Saturday night, and uh, that's all I'm gonna worry about. Thank you very much. You got it.